The direction arrow in Germany is pointed north, as in Richard North, not phased in the least in facing the reigning, defending world champion Rob Cross at the European Darts Open on finals day? No, not at all. Shocker in Leverkusen today on High Roller Radio. The round of 16, the start of a long day of terrific tungsten at the Osterdam Arena as we play down to a winner. The last 16 went at it this afternoon. We joined the action late, but MVG was on first, and that usually means a Michael Van Gerwen win. In this case, it did. A 6-3 triumph over the number 16 seed, Alan Norris, the Dutchman averaging 106, just another day at the office. The PDC asking, can anyone stop MVG? Well, Simon says I can. Simon Whitlock, his next opponent in the quarters, the Aussie absolutely dusted. Dave Chisnell, 6-1. Whitlock is playing well and had more good form today. We pick up the action in the afternoon's third fixture. Ron Muhlenkamp versus Justin Pipe. All Muhlenkamp in this one. The lefty hit seven 180s in his match yesterday, added five more today. Average 101.44, was 57% on his doubles, and he's confident. I think... I think I can improve and continue like this, he said afterward. Next match provided the upset of the weekend as Richard North held his nerve to edge out Rob Cross. The world champion was simply brilliant yesterday, a 107 average in thumping Adrian Lewis 6-1 today. A different story. Did have four 180s, but Voltage missed several darts at double. And Northy, confident in his own game, did not. He started with a 75 checkout for break, then took out 100, 20 double top, double top, and then recorded a massive, absolutely massive 160 checkout for another break. At 5-3 down, Cross fought back to level, and he had throw in the decider... But North opened with three ton-plus scores and closed it out. Hand raised from Cross, respectful in defeat, 6-5, your final. I'll take it, snatched it, said Northy, a 9-2 outsider to win this one. On his quarterfinal contest with Camp. he's ahead of me in the rankings. I want to overtake him. So I want to win. At Ian Holman, letting us know just how clutch North was on his doubles, had two 180s to go along with finishes of 160, 189, and 75. 91 and a half average. The world champ was up around the 98 mark. Good game. Again, big upset. Snakebite, who averaged 106 yesterday, fired in a 101 average today and beating John Henderson. Slump? What slump? Using his old darts and finding the range, that 101 average in spite of the fact that he went 6 for 20 on his doubles. Peter Wright beats Hendo 6-2 to advance. Great match followed. Chris Doby taking on Joe Cullen. Doby jumped out to a 3-1 lead, led 5-3 as well, but Cullen hung in there, won three games on the spin to win a close one, 6-5. Played like a rock star in the final three legs too, registering checkouts of 103, 74, and then 103 again for the victory. I felt like I was chasing the whole game, he said. I just told myself. Don't panic. The Merverts were panicking as they watched their man jump out to a 3-1 lead. Menser Sulovic in tough against Mervyn King, but King was in tough against his own ailing body. The 52-year-old carried the lead the entire match, played beautifully, but grimaces suggest the evening session may be a tad difficult. King finishing 64 to seal the deal, beats the Austrian 6-3. Back's good, sciatic nerve is killing me, he said. I'll battle on. What do I do? Give up? I'll never give up. Rounding out the afternoon session, what promised to be a high-scoring affair, and it was. How about James Wade? Erasing a 2-0 lead like a true pro. Bully boy, back-to-back 12 darters to start, but the machine is back in top form. What a performance indeed. 106 average, 6-4, he beats Michael Smith, and on to the quarters now. The quarters, semis, and finals all set for the evening session. Wade is brilliant, and Northy is over the moon at the European Darts Open today on High Roller Radio.